We're gonna hop into Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to cut out this subject, swap out the background color to whatever you want it to be, but maintain that hard light shadow. What's shaking bacon? I'm Joni Simon, food photographer. Welcome to my studio. I made a huge announcement last week about my brand new course. It's been over a year in the making. This thing is no joke. It's called Create Your Career Business Essentials for Photographers. It's an in-depth business course just for you. But I had a lot of questions about the website that talks all about the course, which you can go check out. I've got it linked down below. But there are all sorts of images that I captured from a key lime pie shoot, but they are all cut out and kind of collaged on the website. And there are a lot of questions of, how'd you do that? So I'm gonna take you into Photoshop, show you how I cut out the subject, change out the background color, and then preserve that shadow as well as manipulate it. So here we are in Capture One. I've applied the basic edits, which if you have never used Capture One before and you want a getting started guide, I have a previous video linked down below, but I've made my initial edits. Now I'm gonna take it off over into Photoshop. So I'm gonna right click and hit edit with Photoshop 2023. I'm gonna open that as a TIFF file and edit variant. And this is when then it's gonna boot it off over into Photoshop for me. So where we're gonna start is with basic cleanup to this photo, then we're gonna cut out the subject, and then we're going to add in a solid color background in a different color, and then I'm gonna show you how to bring the shadow back into the final scene, because I had a tutorial a number of weeks ago, and folks were like, okay, get the cutout and change the color of the background part, but what if there's a shadow? So let's get into it. So I'm gonna start out by duplicating this layer, just to control J, and then I have my spot healing brush tool, because if I come zoom in, here we can see there's some little goobers and I wasn't as maybe detailed in cleaning up my scene when I was styling it. I had a lot of photos to get through so sometimes you're like fix it in post. This is one of those moments. Now for any of these crumbs that are outside the shadow I'm not as worried about those because ultimately those are just going to be covered over by that solid color layer but anything that is in the shadows I do want to clean up because that will still come through even when we change the background color. So all these little crumbs here, let's get all these. All right, so now that we're all cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer twice. One of these, I'm gonna make the subject, and then the other one, I'm gonna make the shadow. So let's go ahead and start with our subject and let's do the cutout. So this is pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and select here our quick selection tool. And then I'm just gonna hit select subject. Let Photoshop do its magic. And it did a pretty good job. But now you can see there's a couple areas where it didn't quite capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and just using the brush tool here, go ahead and grab those looking pretty good. Now I am going to come in and just use this select and mask to further refine it in some spots. So for example, if we come over here, we can see it didn't quite do the best of job. So I'm going to make a smaller brush here by hitting the bracket key. The bracket left makes the brush smaller, bracket right makes it larger. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over this. And actually, I'm going to paint over this as well. Wherever it's red, it's going to let us mask out. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Right, and otherwise, we're looking great. So now all I want to do is to go ahead and mask out the background. So all we're going to do is hit the mask button there. And you can see here how everything in white, that means white will be revealed. We'll still be able to see that in that layer. But the black, that background is now masked out. So now that we've masked out that background, I want to go ahead and add a new layer, create a new layer, hitting that button right there. And then this is where we're going to have our solid color, where we can change out the color this background. So let's go ahead and pick some sort of fun hue, maybe something in the oranges family. If I hit the G key, that will give me the paint bucket tool. And oh, we've covered over everything, right? Because this is the top layer. If I just drop this underneath that layer we just cut out, why did that work? Well, because we created that mask that in this layer that is on top, everything that's covered in white is visible that we can see that. Whereas the black, it's covered that over, and so we're able to see the layer underneath. But you go, wait, where's my shadow? Oh, so we have our shadow layer. Let's go ahead and bring that back. 
and this is pretty easy. All we want to do is get this lasso tool and do a rough cut out of the shadow. This does not need to be a perfect science. Just kind of run over the whole thing so that it's cut out. And then what I'm going to do with this is create a mask as well. So we're going to add that layer mask. But now you're like, wait, that doesn't look cute. No worries, no worries at all. Let's go ahead and select instead of normal, let's hit multiply. Oh, okay, well, here we go. We've brought some color back into it, but now we've got this weird extra line where we did that cutout. So here's where we take just a few more steps. So let's go ahead and jump down into create a new fill or adjustment layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and select my levels. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make this only apply to this layer for the shadow. I don't want it to apply to everything else underneath. So what I'm gonna do with that is create a clipping mask. So you can see how that little arrow points right to that. That's telling us this is only gonna affect that shadow layer. And now you can see this is similar to kind of like your histogram, right? The tone curve where we have our highlights and our shadows. So if I just bring these highlights this direction, see what's happening? that's starting to fade in. Do you see that line? Suddenly it's starting to fade and start to match to the color of background. There we go, we've brought it in. Now, depending on the hue and the value of this background layer here, this may need a bit more, this levels may need a bit more manipulation. You may also too play around with darkening these shadows, right? Intensifying those making them lighter. So you've got some also creative freedom in playing with that. But if this color is still looking a little wild and this feels very saturated and you wanna bring that saturation down, well, we can just bring in yet another new fill or adjustment layer and select the hue saturation. Again, we just want this to affect only the shadow layer. So create clipping mask, and then we can desaturate it or increase saturation. There isn't a right or wrong here. It's more of a matter of personal taste, but we can also further lighten or darken here. Oh, but we see, we start to darken how that brings back that cutout line. So we can leave that there. But now what if, say for example, we wanna change the color of this background again? Well, we just wanna make sure we're selected on the layer again. We can select any color we want. Let's go with kind of a lime green here. We hit that G key again for the paint bucket, drop that in. You can see that's now swapped out that background. But now to finish things out, all I would do at this point is hit Control S or Command S to save this file and bring it back over into Capture One. I do also like to save the Photoshop file for ones that are a bit more intricate like this so that if I ever wanna go with a different background color in the future, it is much easier to access this file again. Just hop back into that layer, change the color, and we are rocking and rolling. So once again, thank you so much for stopping by the studio. If you wanna check out Create Your Career, it is linked down below. And with that, I hope you have a fantastic week. You stay out of trouble and I'll see you soon, all right? Bye.